reaction device connect a member of the planetary gear train to transmission housing in order to produce output motion. As example, the holding devices of a Simpson gear train transmission involve the front band C, the rear band D and the one-way clutch E. The front band C engages in the second gear, the rear band D engages in first gear and reverse, and the one-way clutch E engages in first gear. In ZFE Colife transmission, the holding devices are brake D, brake E, and brake F. Brake D engages in third gear, overdrive fifth gear and reverse gear. Brake E engages in second and overdrive sixth gear. Brake F engages in first and reverse gear. Three types of holding devices are used in the planetary gear set, multi-disc holding clutch, brake band and one-way holding clutch. Automatic transmission multiple disc holding clutch assemblies are used for holding members of the planetary gear set. When a clutch is used as a holding device the outer splines are fit into slots in the transmission case. When the assembly is applied, the member is locked to the case. The parts of a multi-disc holding clutch assembly are, brake housing, hub, multi-disc package, apply piston, and piston return springs. The brake housing is either the transmission housing which has slots for the outer splines, steel plates, of the multi-disc holding clutch or multi-disc carrier which is slotted on the inner diameter and is installed into the transmission housing with screws. or output cover which contain the holding clutch piston and is bolted to the transmission housing. To loosen the brake piston, blow small quantities of compressed air into its orifice of feed oil. To install the brake piston, drive in piston until firmly home by light blows with a plastic hammer. The piston is operated hydraulically, it moves in a short cylinder in a brake housing. The piston is made of cast aluminum or steel, with a seal ring grooves around the inner and outer diameter. A seal ring seats in the groove. This rubber seal retains fluid pressure required to stroke the piston and engage the brake pack. The piston return springs move the piston to the disengaged position when hydraulic pressure is released. The piston release can be affected by cup spring, diaphragm spring, or by a pack containing many small springs. The splines on the outside of brake hub mate with the splines on the brake inner plates, friction plates. The brake hub may be one member of the gear set. Or brake hub has splines on the inside of the hub, which are connected to one or more members of the gear set. As example, in ZFE Colife transmission, the hub of brake D is the ring gear 1, which its splines on the outside mate with the splines on the inner plates of brake D.
and the hub of brake E is the ring gear 2 which is connected with the planet carrier 1. And the hub of brake F is the ring gear 3 which is connected with the planet carrier 2. Two sets of plates make up the brake pack, the outer plates, holding plates, and inner plates. The outer holding plates, steel plates, are flat external splines locate in the mating splines on the inside of the transmission housing. The inner plates are steel plates which have friction material bonded to them, their splines mate with splines on the outside of the brake hub. Clearly mark multi-disc package after removing from the transmission brake. Do not mix up the multi-discs of different packages. The plates are loaded into the brake housing on the piston and are placed alternately to make up the pack. Use the feeler gauge to measure the multi-disc holding clutch play. In a multi-disc holding clutch, one set of discs engages splines on the transmission case, and the other set engages splines on the hub. In engaged position, hydraulic pressure is acting against clutch apply piston. Piston overcomes spring pressure and squeezes clutch plates tightly together. The hub is locked to the case and in turn one or more member of the gear set is hold. In released position, Oil pressure is exhausted and the return spring moves the piston back to its released position. In turn clutch disc separate and the hub is free to rotate. Old band is an externally contracting brake assembly that is positioned around the outside of a drum. Simpson gear train transmission involves two brake bands, the front band and the rear band. The front band wraps around the outside of the rear clutch drum, to hold the reverse sun gear stationary when it is applied. The rear band is on the outside of the rear planet carrier, to hold the planet carrier stationary when it is applied. One end of the band is anchored against the transmission case, while the other end is connected to a servo. The brake band is made up of the following elements, band, drum, servo and anchor. The band is a circular strip of spring steel or cast steel that is rectangular in cross section. Its inside circumference is lined with plain or grooved friction material. Bands are either single or double wrapped. Single bands are either thin, flex, or thick, rigid. Double wrapped bands have more clamping force and require less hydraulic pressure to achieve the same stopping power as a single band. The drum fits inside the band and attaches to the planetary gear set element, and is to be locked by the band. Its outer surface is machined smoothly to interact with the friction surface of the brake band. One end of the band rests against a stop or strut in the transmission case. 
Some bands require adjustment, this is typical with older transmissions. The adjusting screw is found on the anchor pin for initial adjustment and to compensate for lining wear. If there is no adjustment, the anchor is fastened to the case. The anchor firmly attaches one end of the brake band to the transmission case. The other end of the band accommodates a push rod or linkage from a hydraulically operated servo, which contacts the band onto the drum. The band apply lever increases servo force by about two and a half times. The apply speed will be decreased the same amount because the servo must travel a greater distance. The simplest servo consists of a cylinder containing a piston, a piston return spring and a push rod. The servo uses hydraulic pressure to squeeze the band around the drum. The servo piston is acted on by hydraulic pressure from the valve body that is fed through an internal passage through the case. The servo piston has a seal around it to prevent leakage of hydraulic pressure, and is spring loaded to allow quick release of the band. In band applied position, hydraulic pressure is applied to the servo. Oil pressure pushes the servo piston away from its base, moving the push rod that tightens the band around the drum to stop the drum from turning. In band released position, oil pressure is dumped or exhausted from the supply line. The return spring moves the piston back to release the clamping force and allow the drum to rotate again within the band. In a pressure release type servo, the band is applied in the normal way by fluid pressure acting on the piston head, however this fluid is not dumped to accomplish band release. Release is obtained by supplying fluid at the same pressure to the opposite side of the piston. As soon as pressure is equal on both sides of the piston, the piston is moved to the release position by the force of the return spring acting on the release side of the band. Speed of application or release is controlled by the rate at which fluid on the release side enters or leaves the servo.